This is Newcastle, coal capital for 160 years, hub of the Hunter region. A great industrial metropolis, the nation's third busiest port, commercial, administrative, educational and shopping centre for 410,000 ambitious Australians living well. Steel maker of Newcastle's modern reputation and main spring of Australian industry. These BHP furnaces, fired by the richest supply of coking coal in Australia, have been pouring steel for more than half a century. On its firm foundation, industry has diversified. Light industry is booming, enjoying immediate access to Australia's biggest markets. Bradford Cotton spins Australian yarn to clothe the nation. At Henry Lane's domestic hardware. Not all significant production is by machine. Here at Newcastle Glassworks, craftsmen still create for the discerning. While Masonite processes Hunter Valley timbers, other companies not illustrated here are active in lead and zinc smelting, paint and pigment production, chemical refining, and the making of fertilizers, furniture, and food. Industrial giants like Courtholds in the synthetic fiber field have established in Newcastle to complete a diverse and stable industrial complex. Industry needs power. Newcastle has it to spare. This is Vales Point power station, built above its own mechanized mine, where the coal can be quarried straight into the boilers. It and three others like it will soon generate 80% of the electricity for the whole of New South Wales. Power. Steel and Newcastle tradesmen make good ships. Down the slips at the Newcastle State Dockyard, ship number 76, the biggest ever built in Eastern Australia. Into the Hunter slips 19,600 tonnes of Newcastle steel and Newcastle skill, a great addition to Australia's shipping. Around the busy harbour, ships from a dozen nations sound their salute. A very fine river is how Lieutenant Shortland described the Hunter a quarter of a century before John Batman settled the Yarra. Now, into this fine river, sail 2,000 ships a year. On Newcastle's three miles of wharves, there's every modern cargo handling facility, including the latest container handling equipment. Less than five minutes walk away, the administrative centre of it all. Newcastle City. In these office blocks, towering above Lower Hunter Street, works the clerical army which keeps the business of the Hunter region flowing smoothly. Commercial investors and government departments, confident in the future of the Hunter region, have erected multi-storey buildings which have changed the face of Newcastle to that of a capital city. The white-collar staffing of these Hunter Street commercial centres give a new perspective to those who think of Newcastle as a blue-collar city. 
Hunter Street is also the centre of Newcastle's downtown shopping district. The great names of New South Wales retailing are here. Woolworths, Coles, Waltons, Knock and Kirby's, Grace Brothers and David Jones. Hunter Street, where Newcastle shoppers can buy anything and everything they need for living well. Boats. Antiques. Handcrafts. You can buy anything on Hunter Street. But in this expanding city, the burgeoning suburbs support huge shopping complexes of their own. This is Woolworth's vast Katara Fair. Woolworths chose Newcastle for its first two successful ventures into shopping centre ownership. And of course there are dozens of other conventional suburban centres as well. Home for most Newcastle people means a comfortable house in a pleasant street with a garden of their own, not far from the shops and the local school, and quite often with a view over the ocean, the city, or over magnificent Lake Macquarie. Living well means enjoying life. Little wonder Newcastle people enjoy boating when there's water like this at the end of so many suburban streets. Newcastle is spreading out, but with better and better roads being built, suburbs like Belmont, on a Miami-like strand between lake and ocean, are only minutes from the city. Not much further away, Port Stephens, mecca for water sports enthusiasts. From fish-famous Port Stephens, where ocean meets inlet, the Hunter has the best of facilities for all sportsmen. Unconventional or conventional. And what sport is more conventional than this? Not all enjoyment is on the move. A place to pause, a place to enjoy good company. For those of more serious mind, there's the Cultural Centre, fronted by the new Civic Fountain. In this fine building, Newcastle's Art Gallery, Conservatorium of Music and Library have increasing patronage from the public, the university, the teachers' college and the ever-expanding secondary schools. In The Hunter, culture includes viticulture. The people of Newcastle have good jobs, good homes, good leisure, good food and good wine. They live well and living well means people buying, buying, buying. Are you in there selling? 